Hello everybody and welcome to my Snapchat story. Hey on a beautiful day. Not really, it's kind of toasty. It's just not that bad. Eh. Just got out of work, taking the long ass walk to my car because trying to get steps in, trying to be healthy and shit. It's hot out here, Mike. And gray is not a very uh, flattering color when it comes to sweat. You look weird, I'll tell you that. But it's okay. We're cool, we're calm, we're collected. Triple C's, you know what's that? Oh. But it's story time. Let's tell you what happened Friday evening. I've pondered and thought, and it's time to tell. So my friend Jacqueline has a happy hour, P&L, McFadden's. And I'm like, okay, Friday night? We get there, we're cooling, we're chilling, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Shooting some meatball out. <laughs> no, so we're, yeah, we're just hanging out. I noticed this girl walk in, in her blouse, it reminded me of my shower curtain. Don't ask why, but it did. Table laughed, couple seconds, night moved on, thought nothing of it. Was I wrong? Two of the lovely ladies I was with in this group of fun decided to let this lady with the shower curtain blouse know that I said that. So I'm just happen to look over. All I see is the two ladies I know pointing at me and the lady with the blouse giving me one of these. The bird. Now I'm thinking, either I pissed her off or this is my opportunity to drop the game. E.A. Sports. I picked it up like a shortstop and went over there and immediately addressed said shower curtain blast woman as shower curtain. Needless to say, she wasn't mm, the happiest camper on the campsite for that one. But I didn't let it fret me. That's a, I didn't let it stop me. I we'll just said, I can't stop, stop, stop. Sorry, I just break out sometimes. So I'm talking to her, and she just keeps giving me shit because I talk shit. You know, you get what you take, you take what you give, whatever it is. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. So I'm talking with her and her friend's like, yeah, you know, you kind of pissed her off. And I'm like, oh, really? Thanks. Couldn't tell. She's like, you should buy shots. Shot, 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 shot. So we buy the shots. And, uh, you know, we're talking everything. You know, everyone's moving around. And then she, shower curtain, decides to go infiltrate the happy hour. Talking to the peeps I was with. Thinking, oh, I'm in cool now because I got a shot. No, basic. Slow the roll, steamy. I'm still flirting a bit. I'm like, why not? It's Friday night. You know, this is how we do it. Call me Montel Jordan. And I'm like, wow, I just had a lot to drink. Water, of course. And so I'm like, I'm going to use the restroom. BRB. I go to said bathroom. I come back. Restroom. Damn it. It's okay. Keep going. So then I come back and I'm looking around I'm like, huh, where they go? It's okay. So then uh, my homeboy Nate the Great was there, and he was just like, yeah, man, I got to tell you something. I'm like, what, Nate the Great? Those two girls were married. S still looking. Huh. Huh. Just looking for who the fuck do they think I am? Jeez Louise. Now my married meter is very accurate. I would say before this it was 100%. But women are changing the game. Taking rings off and shit. I swear my spidey senses are just like no ring, no ring. Okay. Proceed. Hold up, hold up. Proceed. I didn't see it. They're like the girl, Nate the Great's girl. That's right, yeah. Was like, oh, I saw the tan lines. I'm like, what? What kind of vision do you have to see tan lines on ring fingers? I mean, geez, I can barely see, and I have four eyes. <laughs> Needless to say, women, keep the ring on. Because he liked it, and he put one on it. 